All right. Um, while we've got a moment, I'm going to uh, pick up, I think, a call. And I'm going to go to, um, well, let's see. Let's go to Illinois. Hello, Illinois. Are you there? Yes. Um, extinguish your device, please. Done. Done. Great. Okay. What is your first name? Rose. A rose by any other, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What part of Illinois are you in, Rose? Iuka. Iuka. Population 600. <laughs> really? That's, that's, that's a very small town. Uh-huh. I'm out in farm country. So does yeah, everybody sort of know area. everybody in, in, in your town? I imagine they do. Yeah, it's like everybody knows everybody. <laughs> okay, well, listen, welcome to the program. Do you have any thoughts, suggestions, ideas, criticisms, anything? No criticisms. I love him. <laughs> I cried when they took his show off the air. My husband, I was screaming and yelling at him. He's not on. He's not on. That other radio show's on. Oh, wait I mean, a minute. I've been listening to Bart for years. But, well, yeah, but you're talking about him like he's in the third person. <laughs> well, he was gone for a little while, and I missed him very much. <laughs> well, he was, and he missed being here, too. But listen, um, just for the record, I'm Art. This is Art. Oh, my God! No, just Art. Oh, my God! I got <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God! Now, what have I always said, Rose? I've always said I don't have a call screener. Screeners, yeah, but I, I, usually they say that, and somebody else picks up. Oh, my Lord! <laughs> Rose, oh, I... Oh, yes, my yes, God. Yes. I love you, oh, your thank you. family. <laughs> I, I swear, the day that you signed off the air, I go, no, no, he's going to be back on. Uh, that other radio show was on. Uh, I screamed at my husband, yes. he's not on. <laughs> I sat down and cried. It was like somebody stabbed me in the heart with a knife. Ah, I've been uh, listening to you for years. Rose, uh, you, you know, you've really got to get a recording of this program. I hope you have joined as a time traveler. And and you a copy of it. Uh, you know, if you're a time traveler, you can get a copy of the show because so my you, husband paid for a subscription. There you go. To there the you show. go. Because you've got yeah, to hear yeah. your voice, Rose. You've got to hear your voice when you figured out it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe it. <laughs> yes, you oh can believe my it. God! Oh, I I love you and your family and your <laughs> daughters and your wife are just beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank and, you. So very much sorry about Mona. Oh, thank you. And, uh, All right, so hard. Rose, 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 what would you like to hear on the show? I mean, what is your, almost your favorite topic? Well, I have two of them. One is what's going on with the Earth and the planets, how they're changing, and the volcanoes and the earthquakes. And the other one is UFOs, and I've seen one. Rose, uh, let me let me first address the first thing you said. We now have it'd be a great book title too, but I'm not going to write it. Uh, the quickening. <laughs> we have the quickening on steroids. The quickening on steroids. <laughs> That's right. We do. <laughs> All right. Now, briefly, you said you've seen a UFO. Welcome to yes. the club. Tell me about it real quickly. Okay. At the time, I was living in Kansas. And I went out to take my dog out, and I looked up at the sky, and the moon and the stars were gone. I ran oh. back in the house, got my daughter, drug her out on the porch, and I hollered, look, look. And she looked up, and she goes, what? I says, where's the moon? Where's the stars? Right. And then my neighbors across the way, they came out of their house, and we were all pointing at the sky. And that thing was dead silent. Massive, so big, so huge. What about and the it shape? Took off with a blink of an eye All right, and but, no noise. Okay, but what about the shape? It was. I. It wasn't round like a saucer or nothing. It was kind of like an arrowhead shape. An arrowhead. Yeah, you know how an arrowhead is kind of shaped. Oh, sure. It was kind of something like that. And it was just pitch, the whole bottom of it was pitch black right. until it took off. And, and then multicolored lights and when were it, all at the bottom. Multicolored lights at the bottom. 
So it isn't like yeah. it was it not like it was on a rainbow firing itself off on a rainbow or something. No, it was like when the thing powered up and took off, there were like these multicolored lights. And my daughter, speechless, I grabbed her and I was shaking her, trying to snap her out of it because she was terrified. All she was saying was, and pointing at it. Really? Yeah. So me, some of my neighbors, and then shortly after that, we moved here. (laughs) Rose, is there... um... Is there anything that makes you think that it was, you know, from somewhere else? Well, I don't think we have anything. I mean, this is a huge trailer park that I was living in. Right. We got nothing that big. Nothing. Was it silent? Dead silent. Not a sound. Dead silent. You know, that's that's true. No noise of any kind. All right, Rose, I got to go. (laughs) 